What's up guys, this is the Rife and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. This is the roundup where we left off. We have sallied the Baghdad Garrus out to chase down the Persian and Georgian forces currently in the field. So without further ado, let us attack. So this army is going to be, once it's cleared out of the Baghdad region, it's going to go north and push towards Georgia and into Russia, hopefully. And one thing I do need to do is I need to create... I need to spend some money in Iceland and build up my... build up some trade fleets. That's what I really need to do. Okay, this terrain's pretty bad. Is there anywhere good to put... well, it's there. Good. Good position to put some artillery in. Let's... Cut my infantry, maybe not my weakest unit of Israeli. Let's form our battle line. Let's put our Bashi Bazooks on over here. Riskers of Souls and Felly over here. Camels, cavalry on the, on the left, camels on the right, general in the centre. do want to advance because the terrain is pretty poor it's very undulating charging us. So fairly, these guys just halt so they can um, provide fire, hopefully. If they cannot provide fire in time, they should get at least one volley off. Hitting the bashies. Bring my camels in. Some of these give up. You guys charge in. Bashis push out the left flank. Okay, one in the centre. Charge the risks of souls on. Charge my other combat troops on. Bring my cavalry into bear. The rest of the soul will have a great time. Let's pull my camels out. Still getting these weird sound bugs. So we're not able to see any action. Hear any action. Fellaheen musketeers to chase them down. And let's get our Fellaheen in its properly to go chase after these dervishes. You guys form up your musket line. Camels chase down the desert warriors. Zamadai pikemen are getting shot to bits. Dervishes going down. Yeah. Absolutely slaughter them because they're in our area of responsibility. 
Get rid of the souls, getting shot to pieces. We don't want them to get hit anymore. Charge our bashies onto the combat. Run our infantry more like. Efficient. She's going to have a great time against them. And some more melee troops on the, over on the flank. So I want to go after this gun team primarily. They're gone. Chase down these dervishes. Just charge and fill in, I suppose. These guys can fire on the general. Camel Nomads chase the warriors down. Let's change the bashies to go engage the fill in. You guys all need to stop firing. Go hit the general's bodyguard. You guys stop firing. And let's kick my general into gear. Go and kill this last dervish and go after those desert warriors. Absolutely continue. Full artillery fire. He's doing a good job against the desert warriors. Come on, Mon General, chase down the desert warriors. They're more of a frustration, I think. Especially as they're all, at least they're all together, unlike these Feline, they're split up. So the only one left is these fellow musketeers. That wasn't. Well, it was scrappy, but it wasn't close. But then again, scrappy battles are actually quite a positive thing for the Ottoman Empire. Because you got all those melee troops. Someone did ask how I sped up the N10 phase, and that's by pressing spacebar. You kind of toggle fast and slow speeds. Okay, and hop these guys onto the bridge, so if these guys want to come near us, then we can intercept. So they might come after us near Esfahan, but they've not got the strength. We are destroying this school, or one of them, which should help. Morocco's still being Morocco. The west in front is fairly stable. Let's check out our research and tech. So one of these is, okay, you are the one I'm keeping, so I may as well set you guys on to research tasks. Go for sextant. Immediate bonus of movement range of ships. Tehran is being destroyed. So up here, I got, to be honest, I may as well exempt you from tax to get this other port built. I may as well build this fishery up so I can, well I can build fifth rates, start building some fleets to send them out to trade zones. Still link siege to the Georgian capital at the rear, Damatali. These guys have a real decision to make now. Do they continue south or do they go back and reinforce? Um, but it's an end turn. Because we spent all the money. That's all we can. <laughs> we spent all our money. We've got no immediate. We can't change any techs. 
Well, that's a... Oh, good. They've gone north. If they stayed on that road or headed south, I would be a bit concerned because they might try something. But yeah, we need to grow our navy. Well, part of what we need to do is grow our navy. Uh, because we're going to get to the point where the AI... Well, we could defend so much of our territory with just a strong navy. With just a single strong navy. We don't even need a lot. Because we've got the mouth of towards the... Uh, obviously... Persians just decided to go around us. Which is why I'll need to recruit some smaller armies to chase them down. So they have managed to hunker down to the north, but what will the Georgians do? That's the key. Because the Georgians, if they decide to move, I'll have to immediately go and intercept them. Mm, the Georgians have stayed still, stayed put. So, these guys want to raid south. Okay, do I want... okay. So do I keep these guys at the capital, or do I send them to this bridge? Because I could then intercept and prevent them from crossing this section of the river. I think I pretty much have to hold and build up a stronger, not massively stronger, but just a bit stronger. So that's three turns, which is frustrating. And it does mean I can't really build my navy. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, you're going up here to support Damatali. Hmm. I want to send these guys south just to cut these guys off. Because I can't leave the capital. Otherwise they will be very, very upset with me. Well, they are going to rebel, probably. It's only a matter of time. Spend some money to replenish. Replenish my forces and plug the gaps. I think these guys are going to stay here till one of these guys becomes um, more vulnerable to attack. Because right now, if I attack, for, if I attack Persia, these guys will march south. If I attack Georgia, these guys will march south. So it's not a case if I can't beat either of them. I can. It just it starts to create problems. So you guys keep recruiting. It's a pity we are going to lose some territories to their raiding, but. Not much we can do about it. I upgraded a madrasa in Istanbul. Hopefully that can help spawn more agents. Slowly building up our navy. Such as it is, it's only four ships. I do not want to take on that British navy. You know, I could... You guys, you guys watching could probably win, but I couldn't. Okay. Enter. Basically, the the Persians are playing a very dispersed fighting style, which makes yeah, I've got I've got lots of holes in my front line, which I need, which I can't really leave any of my cities unprotected because my amount of gar the amount of the garrison I get in them is so small. Basically, I need to clean up my rear areas. I can't move my garrison out of Esfahan, so I need to help try and suppress this rebellion. They've not pushed to the south, and they've not pushed to the north either. Hmm. I think I know what I can do. Oh, well, first of all, I'm going to defend this Sally from Tbilisi. Let's do this. So what I was going to do was the army to the north of Baghdad, I'm going to take some of their units and send them south. If I keep that army to the north on the bridge, if I intercept them, I'll be able to mow them down with a smaller army. So that's okay. 
but this way I can create two half-sized stacks to help clear out the uh, oncoming raiding Persians. So let's just stay back. Don't be... Well, actually, then again, I don't think they had mortars. Even so, it's safer. Even if the terrain around this city is pretty terrible. It's pretty terrible to fight in. The Sorelis don't get... I never forgot about that. They don't actually get to build fortifications. Bit of a bummer. But what can you do? Okay, so group these guys because I know they've all been deployed. I'm gonna have my cavalry waiting on each flank. Some Azars that can deploy stuff. You can go there. No, oh, Semnes as well. Straight line, straight line cavalry threats to my artillery. That's what I'm mostly bothered about. Then more general back. Riskers of Souls and my Bashis. Riskers of Souls behind one set of guns, my Bashis behind the other. I don't need them to deploy anything fancy. So just get them out of the way, speed up time. Did they have any mortars in the end? No, they didn't. Well, to be honest, I am tempted to just move up. Then again, it depends how quick they are. Ah, oh, they did have more, so they just deployed them out here. Sneaky. That's going to be a job for my Delhi horseman, I think. No, my Zamandari cavalry. My artillery focused on something a bit more useful. Let's send my skirmish cavalry off now. Especially as this art these cavalrymen are getting pounded by by my artillery. And looks like they might even waver. One more volley. Yep. Pick new targets for the guns. Mow down the garrison unit. The garrison mortars. Delicious. It looks like it hasn't dis um, hasn't dis uh, caused them to cause them any more major problems. But these guys, the reason why I'm tempted to speed to play this in fast forward is because this is going to end very quickly. Set our Delhi horsemen to go and attack that cavalry unit, that um, infantry unit back there. Bring our Zamandari horsemen back because I want them to cut these guys up. They don't need to, but I want to. Horsemen. Okay, now let's retarget their artillery. My artillery, sorry. Bloody horsemen let loose a volley on the charge in. And they're broken. Charge forward my cavalry because they're all dead. Or they're all going to rout. Going to die anyway. There we go. 
lovely. So not really critical to win the battle, but who doesn't love chasing down fleeing units? I'm going to keep my Deadly Horsemen away from other units because I don't want their gunfire interfering with... Well, I don't want them shooting down any of the horses from my other cavalry units. I'll just say that. Yeah, both of you focus on this unit. That unit over there. It's a militia unit. It's probably going to route... Thought I fixed my audio problem, but seemingly not. Decisive victory. Awesome. Good stuff. Yeah, so they are continuing to be cheeky little scamps. Oh, we've recruited Hashar in Egypt. Send the Hashar in up towards Moscow. Actually, don't try and infiltrate, just stand nearby. Batman in Anatolia! Okay, let's upgrade you to a Smith's. Let's also knock these all down a bit to help promote growth of my towns and growth of my cities. Check our ministers, see if anyone great shown up. So you want a navy guy, really. Plus one army, plus one treasury. No, it's not. No, you're not good enough, you're nothing. <laughs> so this guy's just bad at everything. And then this guy... Nope. Are all pretty naff. Let's see if we can open, open up any more avenues of, for trade. And let's go up here. To Reykjavik. Oh, sadly, we've got, we've got a gentleman up here. He's, there's no way he's getting into. <laughs> he's getting safely um, to our lands. Unless I land him in Europe and then just. Or send him somewhere to steal tech. Let's start to build a f let's start to build a small fleet to go out there, and also let's build this farm because farms are cheap. Ah, oh, fuck it! If only we could intercept them on the river. See, there's still I still might have to demolish this school. I mean, I could build this into a coffee house, which certainly helps. Story what I want to do. Nothing particularly. Just finally take the last take to Tbilisi. Obviously they hate us. And we're going to demolish the university. So we got utilitarianism. So this is the, this guy. Yeah, I don't want you. So, Konya, don't start going down carbines. Start going down... Potentially some of these e economic ones to upgrade the wealth, the value we get from our industry. Okay, so I'm tempted to send these guys down to hit this last Georgian army. But it hasn't slipped my mind that you take one more city and that army disappears. So do I even really care? Hmm. Or do I attack north and take out this... Or do I leave those Persians for now? I think I leave them. I think I have to try to take out these Georgians. I mean, they are very depleted generally across the board. They've done some merging, but not enough. 
but enough to make the make them have a, a solid core of good infantry. Right now, it's it's all quite damaged. That provides a good opportunity for us to come in and destroy them. So, oh, and it's a lovely field. Especially as it's an infantry. As it's mainly just an infantry army we're facing. They do have cavalry. But not as much to be worried about. I mean, granted, I'm saying that, and the core of my infantry cannot form square. But my flanks can. That's what matters. Or at least most of my flanks. On the other. I really like having these melee infantry reserves. Sadly, my camels are pretty damaged, so they're not going to be great chasing them down. Got the antiploid down here on the flank ready. Excellent, that's like 13, 13 horsemen in one shot. Let's run a Bashi Bazooka unit up here. Help support. Are you charging? No, you're not charging, you're just hankering for something. Drop into a little square. And no, you guys fire into the centre. Don't be drawn into this whole mess on the flank. Especially as their cavalrymen are, their cavalry are running into a square. Send in my, send in my camels, send in my bashies. We are damaging our own square, so this, these might break. Two generals bodyguard. They're attacking a square, and I've got a bunch of mad lads with swords charging in. There's their general. Go on, Bashies, kill him! Our line on the left flank is forming up, ready, and is opening fire. General's going to escape. Charge the camera nomads in. In the centre, things have gone quite well on autopilot. Get our Mamelukes to work round on the flanks. Get our melee infantry up. These guys should be great on their own. Camels are very good anti-cavalry units and they're backed up by some good melee infantry. Here we fight a volley for the Tata. Those are feeling very peaky. Let's 
Tata Union's routing, good. Hey, General's bodyguard. Where is he? Where's the boy specifically? The shoot doesn't actually have one. So the cannons on the right, switched around shot, pound the centre. Let's get my Mamluks in. There's one regiment of horse stopping us from mowing down two line infantry regiments. So much so they can probably ignore that, that cavalry unit instead just go straight for the uh, straight for the enemy infantry. So the focus of my effort is now just unit destruction. So if these guys can kill fourteen. Favourite route, which a direction of retreat has changed. Now go after the seventh. You guys continue to chase down the eighteenth. Good. Bring you guys back into the maelstrom. Pretty sure my infantry will mow down the tent, and my general will then launch the counter strike. There we go, they're getting into position. Chasing after my cavalry instead of their fighting their battle line, which makes sense because they can't really stop. They can't really beat my battle line. So let's send my just send my melee infantry to, to run into them. It's inefficient and it's dumb lazy strategy, but it's going to work, damn it. It's another regiment of line gone. Let's get ready to hunt down. Go after the 12th, because they're all together. Absolutely continue. Turn to fire off. Set my melee infantry to leave them alone. Good boys, we 
you finished killing this unit. Though it looks, it looks like yeah, one of my artillery units disagreed with those orders. Good stuff. This is a comprehensive defeat of their forces. So keep an eye on the camels. They finished their business. Kill the last of these Georgian infantry. Damn right, you're losing decisively. <laughs> Beautiful. Awesome. So that's almost the army completely destroyed. So much so, um, I, any reinforcing army we generate down here will probably be enough to take them out. Sweet. I'm um, looking at the timer. Actually, I'm gonna hit, actually, let's hit end turn and see see how things develop before ending the part. That'll probably end the part directly after the end turn. Awesome. So our economy's still not firing on all cylinders, but it's mainly because we've not got... Mainly because we're supporting such a large number of armies already. But as, as soon as we start uptaking our industrial... Um, taking down the industry tech tree, then we should really get cracking, because the Ottoman Empire is one of those, one of those factions that uh, really, really gets going. <laughs> they're gonna come try to steal our tech and that's fine they can raid the army to the north that took Tbilisi well, actually they can't go anywhere <laughs> I was about to say I'm gonna send them south to raid the other city which was formerly ours but I can't they can't leave Georgia because otherwise the city will rebel which kind of defeats the point well, it doesn't defeat the point. I would just rather have it, I suppose. <laughs> Okie dokie. So they're raiding the farmland. One thing I do want to do is build this straight into a... Ah, oh, they raided the palace. It's tempting to turn into a madrasa to start to convert the population. rather than direct happiness um but yeah looking at the timer i'm going this part so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and i'll see you next time